वेलकम बैक एडवांस मार्केटर एंड डिजिटल एनालिस्ट टुडेस वी आर डाइविंग डीप इनटू गूगल एड्स कन्वर्शन टैगिंग बोथ फॉर ब्राउजर एंड सर्वर सेट टैगिंग इफ यू आर टायर्ड ऑफ मिसिंग आउट ऑन अवेलेबल कन्वर्शन डाटा और स्ट्रगलिंग विद प्राइवेसी रेस्ट्रिक्शंस यू आर इन द राइट प्लेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल शो यू हाउ टू ऑप्टिमाइज योर टैगिंग फॉर 100% एक्यूरेसी नो मैटर व्हाट हार्डलेस लाइक एड ब्लॉकर और प्राइवेसी पॉपअप यू आर फेसिंग लेट्स अनलॉक द फुल पोटेंशियल ऑफ गूगल एड्स एंड टेक योर कैंपेन to the next level before we jump in make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you never miss any update let's start the basic google ads conversion tracking it's a tool that major the most valuable action user take after clicking on your ads whether it's making a purchase filling out a form or calling your business why does it matter simply put your conversion tracking is the key to understand ROI it helps you make smarter decision by showing you what's working so you are not left in the dark about how your ad spend is driving results setting up conversion tracking is a simple define your conversion whether it is a sale and a lead or a phone call then add a small piece of code called as conversion tag is your website this tag fire every time a user completes that sections here's where things get advanced while browser side tracking works fine or many cases it has the limitation especially with ad blockers and privacy settings that's here server side tracking comes in ensuring no conversion data is lost even when traditionally methods fail by accurately tracking conversions you gain insight into which ads keywords and landing pages are driving the best results with this data you can optimize your campaign and adjust your budget effectively and for advanced marketers you can assign specific value to conversions a sales might be worth 50 usd while a lead could be 5 usd is enable better roi tracking let's take this a step further with the advanced setups by combining browser tags and server side tag you can achieve no valuable data slip through the tags the browser tags tag on page actions while the server side setups guarantees tracking even in the face of ad blockers and privacy restriction now you might wonder why do you need server side tagging if browser side tagging is already in place while well, browser side tagging is valuable browser side tagging is vulnerable to ad blockers and privacy pop up issues that can cause its conversion data to be miss or distorted and with the privacy regulation like gdpr and apple's att cookies are getting blocked leaving you with incomplete data with browser side tracking you depend on the user browser settings many users have ad blocker or browsers that's block cross site tracking by default this means data is often missed or inaccurately tracked when you are trying to measure roi server side tracking bypass these issues and their data is sent directly from your server to google ads and show reliable accurate tracking no matter how strict the privacy settings are on the user device this method guarantees that no valuable conversion data is lost server side tracking also provide improved data accuracy because it does not rely on the users browsers to proceed to data data is sent directly from your server and ensure that it's remain intact and is not tampered by privacy filters or blockers with server side tracking you are in fully control of your data no more worrying about exposing sensitive user information to third party platforms this makes server side tracking secure and privacy compliant adhering to regulations like gdpr and ccpa as a privacy loss in bulk server side tracking is your future proof solutions with cookie being phased out and browsers becoming more restrictive this method ensure your conversion tracking remains robust no matter how the digital privacy landscape shift now i will set up google ads conversion tracking for browser and server side so let's get started previous video i will set up this type of tag like facebook pixel browser side tracking and server side tracking now i want to set up google ads conversion tracking for this container so firstly need to click on preview button then i need to complete a purchase click any product then click add to cart then click view cart then proceed to checkout then i need to fill up this demo informations then click place order our purchase done if i check here our all of tech already fired so now i want to set up google ads conversion tracking so firstly need to go google 
ads this is my google ads then click on goals then click again add conversions start conversion taking conversion taking is a critical to success online marketing it lets you see what people do the conversion action they take after seeing your ads to you set up one conversion action at a time but you can track multiple conversion at once so i want to track purchase taking so need to click here i need to give my website url so copy my website url then paste here then paste here then click scan create a conversion action manually using code i need to click here add a conversion action manually set up conversion manually if you use transaction specific value transaction id or others custom parameter if you want to measure click on buttons or link if you chose this option you will need to add an event snippet to your website code so i need to click on add a conversion action manually so now i need goal and action optimization so i need to select purchase our goal is purchase tagging so i will select purchase then for this goal choose this primary action to bidding optimize and reporting or secondary action use this observation so primary action used to the bidding optimization i will select this then i need to give a conversions name conversion name is here now i need to select this value use this same value is conversion you need to select this use different values for each conversion you need to select this if you sell multiple product and different prices you can give each of them to different value so a, a unique value is recorded for each conversion so i need to select it these are not recommended so be careful count select how many conversion to count per click or interactions every need to select recommended for purchase because every purchase is valuable if you want to set up lead sign up you need to select this every setting is okay then click on done now i need to click save and continue here is a instructions how to set up google ads conversion tagging so i want to set up google ads conversion tagging using google tag manager so i need to select this first i need to copy this conversion id so go back again my google tag manager web container then click on new again click on new then click on google ads then click on google ads conversion before set up google ads conversion tagging you need to enable conversion linker tag missing is container so click here create here firing ticker is all pages then click on save our google ads conversion linker is found in container so i need a conversion id i already copy this conversion id so paste here conversion id then conversion level go back again your google ads then copy this conversion level then go back again google tag manager web container then paste here conversion level this part of conversion level see google ads conversion tracking then i need a conversions value where i find out conversion value if you see my documentations here is conversion value must be number then go back google tag assistant debug view if i click on purchase then again click on detail here we will see the value what is the value e-commerce then value so i need to create a value variables i already create a value variables for facebook browser site and server site tracking if you are not create google ads conversion value you need to firstly you need to pick e-commerce then value if i see here firstly need to e-commerce then dot then value so i already created a conversion value so i need to select this then find out dlb total value now i need to transaction id where i find out transaction id if i click again google tech assistant and see our data layer firstly need to pick e-commerce then transaction id so i already created transaction id variables so i need to select it this is the transaction id where i find out transaction id this is the transaction id if i click here you will see that firstly need to pick e-commerce then then dot then transaction id so i need to select this transaction id then currency code where i find out currency code if i see data layer firstly need to pick e-commerce then currency firstly need to pick e-commerce then dot then currency so i already created currency variables for facebook browser and server side tracking so i need to select this currency this is the currency if i check here firstly need e-commerce dot currency so i need to select this 
now i need to send some provide product level sales so you can submit card data which product were sold in what quantity and for what price for sale conversion to get part conversion reporting in google so i need to select this then here is the merchant id if you have any merchant id you will give here this is the optional so need a fit country if you want to give fit country firstly need to pick order data then customer then billings then country so i already created a fit country variables for facebook browser site and server side tracking so i will select this where is the fit country state this is the country if i see here click here order data then customer then dot billing dot country if i see again here firstly need to pick customer then billing sorry firstly need to pick order data then customer then billing then country so i already created dlb country variables so i will select this here is fit language it's optional and discount it's optional i need to send must be items an array of price quantity and item id that's where purchase so i need to click again purchase then click again plus signs i need to create a custom javascript for this purchase for items so go back to my documentation then copy this code again then paste here now i need to change this variable so type here i already create a constant variables variable type is firstly need to pick e-commerce then items so i already created that so i will select this variable these are items then give a name for these variables then paste here and click save our provide product level sales data is done now i need to send provide customer data so here is the customer lifetimes it's the optionals i want to send this customer type so go back again google tech assistance so i need to see our data layer there is the this value is no, need to create here is a new underscore customer it's the false if any new visitor visit your website and complete a purchase it's the new customer is true i am a old customer for this website i already purchased many so here is the new customer is false so i need to create this variable so copy this and then go back to google tag manager tag then click on plus signs then again click on plus sign then click data layer variables then paste here then give a name and click save here is done now i need to send include user data from your website then click on new now i need to send email so click on plus sign i already create a email for facebook browser and server side tracking so i will select this then phone number so i already create a phone number variables where i find out phone number variables so firstly click on google tech assistant then firstly need to pick order data then customer then billings then phone number if i see our my documentation you will see all of this information is here like email phone number first name last name state city region postal code county everything is here if you need this documentation please check on video description or comment box you will find this so i need to select this phone number is what is the phone number i need to find out this phone number so here is the cgs phone number then click on name and address firstly i need to pick first name i already created a first name variables what is first name variables first name variables is order data then customers dot billing dot, uh, dot first name if i see our data layer you will see that firstly need to order data then customer then billings then first name so last name i need to select last name is the last name then another one is state state is nothing here so i need to create a state variable so click on new variables then click on plus signs then find out data layer variables then go back to my documentations then copy this then paste here then copy variables name and paste here then click save now city already created city variable city variables is firstly need to pick order data then customer then billings then city then region 
region already created region variables is the region or state then county i already created county data layer variable then is then postal code so need to click postal code is the postal code then click save this is the user provide data data for google ads and click save every setting is okay now i need to trigger rings so triggering is also parses because i want to set up google ads parses conversion tagging so click on save then give a name for this tag and click save now i want to set up google ads server side tagging so go back again google tag manager server container this is the google tag manager server container then click on new then again click plus sign then click on google ads then click on google ads conversion here you need to set up conversion link and tag so again click on plus sign then triggering is all pages then click save conversion link and tag found this container then need a conversion id so go back again google ads then copy this conversion id then paste here then conversion level conversion level is this then paste here then value i already sent value for google ads server side tagging this value is conversion its field is blank this value on the event is sent to instead so see the documentations for more information here is the same process no need to send then again click on provide product sale data need to check mark this then again click on this provide customer data send for event data then need to triggering so again click on plus sign then again click plus sign then click on here then need to paste here parses where i parses find out event name is here event name is parses so copy this event name then here you need to paste then give a trigger name trigger name is parses then click save now i need to click on save google ads conversion tagging for parses and click save now i need to submit for this same as need to submit browser site so click on submit now need to click on workspace then click on preview go back again google tag manager web container then click again workspace then again click on preview conversion linker is successfully fired so i need to complete a process our google tag is working or not working i need to check it so here need to click on done here we will see that inactive so i need to completely active this so click on add to card then click on view card then click proceed to checkout then complete this process if i see google tag assistant you will see that our google ads conversion taking parses already fired and again click on google server tag we will see that our google ads conversion parses already fired so our setup is perfectly okay if i click on google ads conversions then reload this page no recent conversions is here no record conversion seven days make sure your campaign are enabled you need to enable your google ads campaign then you will see all of these informations is here and that's a wrap on today's video i hope you now understand why server side tracking is essential for google ads success if you found this helpful don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss an update what questions or need help with your google ads setup drop a comment or reach out me with whatsapp or linkedin i am here to help thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one until next time keep optimizing